June 19th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Chronicles chapters 3 and 4 from the Old Testament. These were the sons of David who were born to him in Hebron. The firstborn was Amnon, whose mother was Ahinoam from Jezreel. The second was Daniel, whose mother was Abigail from Carmel. The third was Absalom, whose mother was Maacah daughter of King Talmai of Geshur. The fourth was Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith. The fifth was Shephatiah, whose mother was Abital. The sixth was Ithrium, whose mother was Egla. These six were born to David in Hebron, where he ruled for seven years and six months. He ruled thirty-three years in Jerusalem. These were the sons born to him in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. The mother of these four was Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel. The other nine were Ibhar, Elishua, Elpilet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhiah, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphelet. These were all the sons of David, not counting the sons of his concubines. Tamar was their sister. Solomon's son was Rehoboam, followed by Abijah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham, his son, Ahaz, his son, Hezekiah, his son, Manasseh, his son, Amnon, his son, Josiah, his son, the sons of Josiah. Johanan was the firstborn. Jehoiakim was born second, Zedekiah third, and Shalom fourth. The sons of Jehoiakim, his son Jehoiakim, and his son Zedekiah. The sons of Jehoiakim, the exile, Shealtiel, his son, Malchiram, Pedaiah, Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hashemiah, and Nedabiah. The sons of Pediah, Zerubbabel, and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam and Hananiah, Shalomith was their sister. The five others were Hashuba, Ohel, Berechia, Hasidia, and Jushab, he said. The descendants of Hananiah, Pelatia, Jeshaiah, the sons of Rephaiah, of Arnon, of Obadiah, and of Shechaniah, the descendants of Shechaniah, Shimea and his sons, Hattush, Igal, Bariah, Neriah, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons of Neriah, Elionine, Hizkiah, and Azrikam, three in all. The sons of Elionine, Hadaviah, Eliashib, Pelaiah, Akub, Johanan, Delaiah, and Anani, seven in all. The descendants of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Reaiah, the son of Shobal, was the father of Jahath, and Jahath was the father of Ahume and Lahad. These were the clans of the Zorathites. These were the sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. Their sister was Hazael Panai. Penuel was the father of Gedor, and Ezer was the father of Husha. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, and the father of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hila and Naara. 
Naara bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Temani, and Heahashtari. These were the sons of Nahara, the sons of Hela, Zerith, Zohar, Ethnon, and Kaz, who was the father of Anub, Hazobiba, and the clans of Aharhel, the son of Haram. Jabez was more respected than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, for she said, I experienced pain when I gave birth to him. Jabez called out to the God of Israel, If only you would greatly bless me and expand my territory. May your hand be with me. Keep me from harm so I might not endure pain. God answered his prayer. Kelab, the brother of Shuha, was the father of Meher, who was the father of Eshton. Eshton was the father of Beth Repha, Pesa, and Tehina, the father of Ur Nahash. These were the men of Rika. The sons of Kenaz, Othniel, and Syria, the sons of Othniel, Hathoth, and Meonothai. Meonothai was the father of Aphra. Syria was the father of Joab, the father of those who live in Jeharashim, who were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, Iru, Elah, and Nahum. The son of Elah, Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel, Ziph, Zipha, Tyria, and Aserel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Merid, Epher, and Jalon. Merid's wife, Bethia, gave birth to Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. His Judahite wife gave birth to Jerid, the father of Gedor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. These were the sons of Pharaoh's daughter, Bethia, whom Merid married. The sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Nahum, the father of Keilah, the Garmite, and Eshtemoa, the Maacathite. The sons of Shimon, Ammon, Rinna, Ben-Hanon, and Tylan. The descendants of Ishai, Zoheth, and Ben-Zoheth the sons of Shelah, son of Judah, Ur, the father of Leka, Laeda, the father of Marisha, the clans of the linen workers at Beth Ashbia, Jochum, the men of Koziba, and Joash, and Seraph, both of whom ruled in Moab, and Jeshubai Liam. This information is from ancient records. They were the potters who lived in Netaim and Gedera, they lived there and worked for the king. The descendants of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jerob, Zerah, Shal, his son Shalom, his son Midsem, and his son Mishma. The descendants of Mishma, his son Hamuel, his son Zachar, and his son Shimei. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers did not have many sons, so their whole clan was not as numerous as the sons of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada, Hazer Shual, Bilha, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Zikleg, Beth Markaboth, Hazer Susam, Beth Beerai, and Shearaim. These were their towns until the reign of David. Their settlements also included Etam, Ain, Rimmon, Token, and Ashan, five towns. They also lived in all the settlements that surrounded these towns as far as Baal. These were their settlements. They kept genealogical records. Their clan leaders were Meshobab, Jamlik, Joshah, son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, son of Joshabiah, 
son of Sireah, son of Asiel, Elione, Jacoba, Jeshahiah, Asiah, Adiel, Jesimiel, Benaiah, Ziza, son of Shaipai, son of Alnon, son of Jedaiah, son of Shimrai, son of Shimea. These who are named above were the leaders of their clans. Their extended families increased greatly in numbers. They went to the entrance of Gedor, to the east of the valley, looking for pasture for their sheep. They found fertile and rich pasture. The land was very broad, undisturbed, and peaceful. Indeed, some Hamites had been living there prior to that. The men whose names are listed came during the time of King Hezekiah of Judah and attacked the Hamite settlements, as well as the Meunites they discovered there, and they wiped them out to this very day. They dispossessed them, for they found pasture for their sheep there. Five hundred men of Simeon, led by Pelatea, Nearia, Raphaea, and Uziel, the sons of Ishai, went to the hill country of Seir and defeated the rest of the Malachite refugees. They live there to this very day. God, right in the middle of all of these uh, chapters, there's just this amazing treasure for people who have had problems in their life, especially as children or situations with peers and families. Jabez, in the middle of all of this, where it says he was more respected than his brothers, his mother had named him Jabez, for she said, I experienced pain when I gave birth to him. But then it goes on to talk about how, how Jabez called out to you, God, and, and prayed to you to bless him, to expand his territory, and to keep him from harm, and stop any pain from happening. So this almost curse that his mother put on him by giving him this name that meant that she had pain when she gave birth to him, he knew who was sovereign over him. He knew who was in control. He knew who to turn his words to. And here he lays out his heart and says, God, I know that my life started out this way, but I know you can change it. I know with your power, your grace, I know that my life can be different. And God, I know there's so many people listening to this video right now who need to pray that prayer to you. God, my whole life has been a mess. Either I had a bad childhood, a uh, bad marriage, I chose to live a disobedient life. There's so many things that cause us pain in this world, God. And yet, Jabez's belief in you and his sincere prayer to you, God, change that in me. I feel like I'm stuck with with what is going on in my world. I feel like I can't change anything. I know you who is the God of Israel. I know you can change this. I know you can change my heart. I know you can change my life. And so I just ask that you bless my life. I ask that there not be pain in my life. I ask that you expand my territory, all having to do with your will. God, I just pray that everyone listening today, that whatever they need to turn over to you, for your power, your grace, your mercy to come into play in their life, that they just take the time to do so. It doesn't have to be fancy words. I know that you listen to me even when I just mumble things or say I don't know what to say. Can you just fill in the blanks, God? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It just has to be this sincere reaching out like Jabez from his heart. God, please what I have been given from this world I don't want what I want instead is your world God I want your kingdom I want you to change my life God and God I thank you so much for the blessings of how much you've changed my life I was just talking to a friend last night just astounded at what my life was before you and what it has become now I, I still am baffled that I made it that many years without you. Um, obviously not doing a very good job of it as I look back. 
God, come into our lives, change our lives, bless our lives, allow us to be the people you created us to be. Be our God of Israel, guide us. We are your chosen children. Allow us to live up to that name. Empower us. Give us strength. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>